What is going on guys, today I'm going to show you how to do some basic tessellation. So what tessellation is, is it's basically a map you can add to your uh, material to make the actual asset bump out where you want it to be on the material. So if we look at the existing one here, you can see I actually have these rocks bumping away from the mesh. And again on the floor you can see it here. And then without that, you can see an example here of it, it's got normals and everything, but it doesn't actually have any tessellation, so it is still flat. So, I've shown in a previous tutorial how to sort of set up a basic material like this. So we just jump into this material and bring it over here. We can see this is the basic layout. I've actually put an add value here to just add some white so it's not too shiny. But yeah, this is it without any tessellation. So set this up, click on your, um, your material here, scroll down and set this to flat tessellation. So I already have mine selected, that's what it will look like without it. So come in here and turn it to flat tessellation. Now you'll need a map to sort of use tessellation. So sometimes a specular map can work, but what you're going to want to use is a specific map called a displacement map or sometimes called uh, a bump map sometimes. But if you have Quixel, it's called displacement. Um, and you can make this in, as I just said, the Quixel suite. And I believe you can do it in Crazy Bump. So if we just so this is what mine looks like. You can actually make it yourself. You could always um, get the original texture. You could um, make it black and white and try to contrast how high you want place to be because black will be low and white will be high. So let's drag that in to here. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to have two multiplies. Put it to this first one. And it's going to control how strong it's going to be. So if we put that to five, we're going to have it times that by five come up here, put to another multiply. I'm going to want to get a vertex normal here. So connect that up and then just connect that up into your world displacement. You also, if we look at it, it should be working, yep. You're also going to want to get a one constant, so just do that, hold one and left click and just go into tessellation multiplier and set that to about two. Now if we click apply, we should already have our tessellation working when it, when it compiles the shaders. So this is quite demanding, like um, it'll take a while to compile shaders stuff, but that is actually physically bumping out now, not too much. I mean, we could always turn it up a bit more to a bit of a stronger value. And you could go really over the top if you really wanted to, turn it to 10. That's probably gonna be way too strong. So again, you just gotta wait for your um, share this compile and quickly show you in wireframe you can see that this has added a lot more vertices to your actual asset so it is quite demanding but you do get a nice result from it so go to lit again you can see these are bumping out quite a bit now so yeah, you can mess with that as much as you want <laughs> way too much on this but yeah that's how you set up some basic tessellation thank you very much for watching i hope this helped and bye bye